<laughs> it's crazy. That's what I'm saying. It comes back to living in an era where it's the perfect time to live in because if you're a tech review guy, you're going to get sent iPhones. You're going to get sent Galaxies, MacBooks, all that new tech because you have an impact in that genre. It is crazy. Yeah, on top of that, like social media, is, it's it's amazing. But at the same time, you got to have your guard up because if, if you want exposure, what exposure means you're going to get a lot of hate. So you better be tough, too, because you're going to get more criticism and more hate than you've ever expected. Like I said, if you have 100 likes, that's not a lot of hate. But if you got 100,000 likes, you're going to get some hate. But if you're doing things because you want to do them, that's that's good because you're doing what you want to do now. If you're worried about the validation of others right. and you're worried about disappointing people, you're going to be miserable because you're trying to live a life that somebody else wants you to live and. They want you want to you're thinking about carrying yourself the way you want somebody to carry. Like, and it's funny. It's funny because you'll have a uh, 100 positive comments and you have probably one or two negative And the one and two negative comments are the one that's going to get you the one that's going to fuck up yeah. your day. And you're going to be like, oh, you're going to go out your way to to comment back and like, you know, say dumb shit when you could have just be like, man, let me look at the positive. Let me just ignore it because that's going to hurt more than just, you know, giving them what they want. So, like, just you just got to see it that way. But. It, to, to me at the end of the day it's like i don't i don't i don't care about the hate the hate's gonna come people are gonna talk at the end of the day it's just like looking at the situation and being like fuck this is a blessed time to be alive because sure. they'll fly you out oh this new camera's coming out the sony or canon i don't want canon to feel like we're not sponsoring them but anyways <laughs> yeah uh the the canon the new canon eos r is coming out uh, we're going to fly you out to our event to show you the camera and get get your thoughts on it. And then when the product comes out, we're going to send it to you a week before. That is, that's awesome, man. That's awesome. All these photographers be traveling in, to these events and stuff because they're reaching out. They notice talent. They notice, you know, the control that they have in that genre. And it's just, to me, it's amazing. And one thing, one thing I want to stress out, too, to the people is, like, anybody that's going to watch this, you know, self-love is important when you're in any industry, Self-love is very important. You got to learn how to love yourself. You got to you got to learn to embrace that you mess up. On top of that cuz if if you listen to negativity and you comment, you give negativity feedback, you value you value their opinions more than you value your work. You're more worried about their hate, you're more worried about trying to satisfy them. So learn how to love yourself because I mean, at the end of the day, you could be in a boxing ring and you could be fighting. But the people that are telling you, hey, left hook, left hook, bro, I can't throw a left hook, bro. You know, my like people could be outside the ring telling you what to do or they could swear that they know what to do. But, bro, at the end of the day, you're in there and it's all about fight or flight. So you could stay in there and duke it out. And, hey, you know, I'm going to stay in here and I'm going to try to win. Or you could be worried about what other people are telling you. And if you listen to somebody and they're telling you to throw a left hook, bro. You not fighting this dude, bro. You not fighting this dude. If I throw that left hook, he's gonna he's gonna That's right. he's gonna beat my That's ass. Right. Cause and, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. Cause I mean, bro, you're in there and you're 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 fighting by yourself, bro. Like the people around you, if they're not supporting you, if they're not trying to better you, then bro, I don't know what to tell you, bro. You need to reevaluate your circle. You need to you need to sit you need to sit down and think about if you're really gaining some something i'm not telling you to use your friends but at least be around people that that support you so that goes back to like the photography or barbering like yo if you're worried about what other people are going to tell you like you're going to have to work on your self-love because you can't satisfy the well, world yeah i think uh and it, it comes uh the self-love is uh, a lot has to do with, and, and this is a negativity part of like the negative side of it is the social media man social media is i think it's more dark than positive just because of they're just it's just more negative man i feel like if people stay away from social media and you're not gonna market yourself or you're not gonna find any benefit but just to get you down because you go in for example on instagram and you see all these people living the perfect life you're gonna you're gonna be like looking like wait my life ain't like that man it's like and it, i i got this video recommended on youtube and it was like these travel uh vloggers and these travel vloggers do the exact same thing. They paint the perfect picture. Not all of them are like that, but they paint this perfect picture that they're traveling, they're having this lavish life. <clears throat> and 
what you really do is you just question yourself like, damn, how the fuck this guy is doing? And I've been in that position. Like, how the fuck this guy is doing all these travels and all this good stuff? And I'm like, damn, what am I doing? They don't show when they crash the fucking drone. Right. They don't show when they crash the drone. They don't show when their fucking taxi is all raggedy and like they're 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 riding in the motorcycle and they're just falling and doing they they don't show the struggle of the travel because not all the time travel is going to be the 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 fairy tale we all think we see yeah. in these videos so like we well, see that and it, this goes with anything but we see that with the models too with the instagram models that they make these um the females look insecure because you have this fucking lipo this fucking fake ass and then the big boobs and it's like the females look up to it. Like if you have a daughter, bro, and, and, and you, she, she's 13, 14, and like just learning the you know social media life, and she goes in and see these Instagram models. What you think they're gonna? Yeah, like like in my opinion, with social media and stuff, like like if a girl does her ass or she, well, my bad for the language, but she she does her butt or she does her breast. Now, if that's something you want, do it. But if that's something that you're doing because you see that person getting attention and you want that same attention. Don't do it. But here's the thing, man. If you grow up looking at that and knowing, like, and seeing all the praise and, oh, yeah, you're beautiful, you're going to think that's the thing. Like, you're going to think because you grow up watching that, like, oh, you know, like, if you go to the, like, to give you an example, if you go to Target and you buy a fucking Barbie, the Barbie looks, has a perfect body. You don't have a fucking plus size Barbie. Yeah. Right? I, yeah. So, it, 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 like, you have the sexy, they have the sexy clothes on, they have the perfect fucking body, and it's like, Right, it's like with my, you <clears throat> and know, that, the plus I mean, size females need love too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, with for all sure. due respect, they look beautiful and shit. You know what I'm saying? So like, they need love too, man. Yeah, for sure. Even even then, that's that's what I was gonna say too. Like, like if you're doing your breast and and that's because you want to do it, like cool, do it. And if you want to do your butt, cool, do it. But this is one thing too. Once you start focusing more about what you want on your physical appearance, you start to forget about what you need to build inside. Like, you could be, you don't have to be a physically attractive person to be beautiful. Like, that's a fact. I know I'm not the most handsome dude in the world, but I'm going to control what I can control. Like, if I could if I could start being a person that people actually look up to or people want to talk to about their situations, like, that makes me feel good. I feel like at that point, I'm a, I'm a beautiful person because I can help others. Now, you could be a beautiful-ass person and be a fucking negative-ass person. And that's how yeah, yeah. That's how they are, man. That's and, how they are. And on top of that, with that whole social media thing, like, social media bleeds into a lot of things. And the reason I say that is a lot of girls will follow these couples and they'll be like, oh, this couple's beautiful. Like, this is the couple I want. If my man isn't like this, like, yo, you're not about a – this ain't build a dude. Like, this ain't build a boyfriend. Nah, homegirl, like, if you ain't grown with this dude, you – you ain't gonna get the perfect dude that just ain't gonna it's impossible yep. bro like you're gonna find flaws in whatever person you're with but this is one thing that i always tell people like if you're gonna get with somebody you gotta accept the fact that if somebody if somebody like if somebody can make that girl happier bro don't hold on to her bro like if, if somebody can make her happier let her let her make her own decision but once she dips and it's not what she wanted she realizes it's not what it is don't let her come back bro but that all goes back because when you're on social media, you'll see Travis Scott and Kylie Jenner. Yeah. Yeah, you'll you'll see couples like that, and you're like, oh, my gosh, they're worth millions. They got this beautiful Goals baby. and, and this. And if that's how they are, that's tight. Like, I'm not trying to talk down well, on them. Well, no. Yeah. I don't know if you know, but I'm pretty sure yeah, you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, about Travis the whole, Scott had a side chick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This whole time. Yeah, and I mean, that's what I, that's what I be telling people. Like, these couples ain't what you think, bro, behind closed doors. When them photo shoots ain't going down, they arguing, bro. I don't care. You, they're. I just got done uh being at a wedding, and I could say they were one of the strongest couples I've ever met. And it wasn't because it was full of laughters and stuff. They were talking to me about hard times they had, cause I was telling them that I was starting to try to get ready to settle down, and they were telling me like, "Look, David, like, we used to argue all the time. Like, we used to not say we love each other." He's like, we used to have, we used to have kids. We have, we had kids, and we still didn't really show affection towards each other. But now we love each other. Now we wake up and we tell each other we love each other. There's days where I have a bad mood, and he knows that I have a bad mood. But he'll stick there. He won't go out the door like, fuck that. She's mad. I ain't gonna stick for nah. He'll stick around. But when he's having a bad day, he's gonna get that in return. I'm gonna stick around too. Now I'm, I'm gonna try not to bug him. But I'm going to be there because, I mean, sometimes silence, silent. you don't have to talk to somebody to be there for them. You could just be there. You could just show them that you're actually there. 
So seeing stuff like that, that's what makes me say that's a beautiful couple. Not on social media, like, oh my gosh, we're in Italy, like, right. we got we got money, like, mm-hmm. we're successful. Like, yo, you're successful, but you're miserable. Right. Because you're trying to feed for the attention of others. You're not trying to feed for your happiness. That's one thing, too. Like, some moments aren't meant to be captured on camera. Like, some some moments you don't have to be like, hey, can you take a picture of me and my husband? Nah, just sit there and enjoy that view and be like, yo, this is something we got to hold on to as a team. This is something me and you experience. People don't need to know about this. Right. Same thing with problems. If you if you if you're gonna go talk about talk bad about your girl, like, man, this girl got me fucked up. This girl, this like, bro. If you know you're gonna return to her, don't do it. Don't do it, bro. Because you're gonna look ten times stupider. On top of that, like, bro, if she's not talking bad about you, don't talk about about her. And even if she's talking bad about you, don't talk bad about her. Be the bigger person, bro. Mm -hmm. Be more mature about it. Like, you don't have y'all's business doesn't have to be out there. Now she talks about you and you ain't talking nothing back. Like, you think people are going to think she's credible? You know nah, what I'm saying? Nah. nah, bro. And then, I mean, that all goes back to social media, bro. You could be real poisoned by it. Like me, I think I think a couple that you could, you could see that they're genuine about each other. They love each other. When they're out in public, they hug each other. They tell each other they love each other. They're not embarrassed to be embarrassed with their girl in public or with their man. That's tight. But if you're trying to look like this picture perfect couple, it ain't happening. Yeah, the, the the only advice I can give is just to stay, stay away from it. Just do more productive shit. Cause like you, sometimes we wake up and we look at our phones. We go to sleep and we before we go to sleep, we're hours looking in our phone. Just do something more productive, man. Cause like you can just waste while you're wasting your time, kind of admiring other people's life and kind of questioning yourself like why don't i have this life you can just be doing something better learning is a powerful powerful tool the more knowledge you have the better you're going to become the better person the better businessman so a lot of at least i don't read but i I do like listen to a lot of podcasts and ebooks that's going to help out a lot just learning the more you learn the better you're going to become the more successful the more successful you're going to become but 